In this lesson, we're going to look at steps to change the DNS server addresses on Windows 11. Although it is recommended that you change the DNS or domain name system through the DHCP server, which is usually built into the router, it is still possible to change these networking settings from inside Windows 11. Usually this configuration is supplied by your internet service provider or ISP, but you can choose from many other DNS resolver services for faster, more reliable, secure, and better privacy. In this lesson, I'm going to show you the steps to change the DNS settings through the settings app, command prompt, PowerShell, and even the legacy control panel. Okay, let's dive into steps to change the DNS settings on Windows 11. But before, please subscribe to the channel and click the like button to help YouTube show this video to more people. It doesn't cost anything and you will be helping the channel and supporting my work. There are many companies that provide good DNS services. Cloudflare, OpenDNS, and Google are among the best companies that offer fast, reliable, and secure resolvers. However, you can choose any service that you want. For this video, I'm listing the IP addresses that you can use for DNS from the services that, in my opinion, are the top three, which, as I already mentioned, are Cloudflare, Google, and OpenDNS. Let's look at the steps to change the DNS server addresses through the settings app. And to do that, open start, look for settings and open the app. Then go to network and internet. And from here, click the network connection that you're using. That could be either ethernet or Wi-Fi. In this case, we're just going to click the active wireless connection. If you have an ethernet connection, you can just click the ethernet setting and that will take you to a similar page, but for that particular connection. Under the DNS server assignment, click the edit button. Select the manual option and turn on the IPv4 option. And in here, you need to provide the, the DNS IP addresses that you want to use. That could be from many of the different services that you might want to use, including from Cloudflare, Google, or OpenDNS. For this video, I'm just going to use the Cloudflare IP addresses, which are these ones right here. So on the prefer DNS setting, type one, that one, that one, that one. This is optional, but you can choose the automatic template option for DNS over HTTPS that will basically use encryption for the DNS traffic. And this option is only available if the service is known to offer DNS over HTTPS. If you turn on this option, you can also turn on the fallback to plain text in case there is a problem with the DNS over HTTPS. And in that case, everything will send over the internet and encrypt it. Now, as an alternate DNS, type the second DNS IP address for the specific service that you want to use. In this case, from Cloudflare is 1.0.0.1. And here the same. This is optional, but you can turn on DOH. And if you do that, make sure to turn on the fallback to plain text, which is also an optional feature. And then click the Save button. As you can see, we can confirm that the DNS server assignment is set to manual. And in here we can see the IP addresses that we used and the encrypted prefer is the confirmation that we're using DNS over HTTPS. Now it has happened in the past that the settings didn't take automatically and I needed to restart the computer. So if you don't have access to the internet, restart the computer and see if that fixes the issue. Otherwise you might need to check the addresses and the configuration that you made on the computer to figure out what's wrong. If we open the web browser, we should now continue to have access to the internet. And there you go. The important to know that when you change the DNS settings, the computer will still receive the IP address for the computer automatically through the DHCP server, which is usually the router. If you want to undo the changes and you want to receive a dynamic DNS configuration from the network, just do this. Open settings, open the app, go to network and internet, open the connections property. And then under the DNS server assignment setting, click the edit button and make sure to choose the automatic DHCP option and then click the save button. And that's it. You can also use the legacy control panel to change the DNS settings on your computer. And to do that, open start and look for control panel. 
then go to network and internet, click on network and sharing center, and then click the change adapter settings. In here, right click the network connection. Now right click the network adapter with the active connection and select the properties option. In here, select the internet protocol version 4 or TCP IPv4 and make sure that that option is checked. And once that is selected, click the properties button. In here, check the use the following DNS server addresses. And in here, type the DNS server addresses from the service that you want to use. In this case, we're going to use the, let's just change for the Google DNS addresses, which are 8.8.8.8 and then 8.4.4.8 for the prefer and alternate DNS server addresses. You can add even more DNS addresses by clicking the advanced button and then on the DNS tab, you can click the add button and that will allow you to add even more addresses, but two are enough and this is just optional. You don't have to do this. And then click OK and then click close. If you want to confirm the configuration, just right click the network adapter for the IPTIC connection and then select the status option. And from here, click the details button. And as you can see, the DNS servers are set to the Google services. From here, you can actually open the web browser. And as you can see, we're loading this web page normally. So everything is working as expected. Important to note that using the legacy control panel, you cannot enable or disable DNS over HTTPS. So that's something to consider. Is that something that you want to use? Now, if you want to undo the changes, open start and look for control panel, go to network and internet, then click on network and sharing center, click on change adapter settings. From here, right click the network connection, right click the network adapter for the active connection, then click on properties, then select the Internet Protocol version 4, TCP IPv4, and then click the properties button. And then to remove the DNS configuration, just check the obtain DNS server addresses automatically. Click OK and click close. And that's it. The uh, quickest way to change the DNS servers on Windows 11 is using command prompt. Even though typing commands, it is not for everyone. So to change the DNS addresses with command prompt, on Windows 11, open start and look for a command prompt or the Windows terminal. In this case, I'm going to use the terminal, right click on the top result and select the Runners Administrator option. First, we need to view the current network configuration and to do that, we're going to use the IP config forward slash all. And in here, we can see that I have an Ethernet adapter named Ethernet Zero. And we can see that the current configuration is set to the uh, Google DNS services. And that's what I use in my network. One thing that you want to note from this command is the name of the Ethernet adapter in this case, which is Ethernet Zero. Now, to set the preferred DNS server through command prompt, we need to use this command and make sure that in name you change this for the actual name of the adapter as you see right here and then set it to static and in this case we're just going to be using the cloudflare ip address for dns and then just press enter now to set the alternative dns ip address through command prompt we have to use this command which is similar to the first one however we have to specify that it has an index equal to two and that makes it the uh, second address that we're going to add to the adapter. Now, if we type the IP config slash all command, we can now confirm that the Ethernet zero in this case, we can see that the DNS IP addresses are set to 1.1.1 and 1.0.0.1. Now, if we open the web browser, we can refresh this page and confirm that internet is working. You can also use a ping command to google.com and that should also confirm that the internet is working. Also, the NS lookup tool is going to show us that we're routing the DNS traffic to this IP address, which is the DNS address that we have configured. If you want to undo the changes using command prompt, you just need to type this 
command, make sure to set DNS and here change Ethernet zero for the name of the network adapter as is shown running the IP config all command and then make sure to use the DHCP option and then press enter. And now if we use a IP config forward slash all command, we can see that the setting has been reverted to the dynamic configuration. Let's look at the steps to change the DNS servers through PowerShell. And to do that, open star and look for PowerShell or the Windows terminal. Right click on the console, right click on the top result and select the run administrator option. Then open the PowerShell session. And then the first command that we're going to use is the get net IP configuration, then press enter. And yeah, this command takes some time. Okay, this is a brief configuration of the Ethernet Zero adapter. And here are the DNS IP addresses that we're using. One thing that you want to confirm on this output is the interface index, which in this case is number nine. Now to change the DNS IP address using PowerShell, you need to run this command. Make sure to change the index number for the index number that corresponds to your network adapter. And then you need to specify the primary or the preferred DNS IP address. And in this case, I'm going to use the open DNS address, which is 208.67.222.222, and then press enter. Okay, that is the command to set the preferred DNS address. Now, if you want to specify the preferred and alternative DNS addresses, you have to type this command and make sure to update the interface index for the one that identifies your network adapter. In my case, it's nine. And as you can see, now we have the two IP addresses that are separate by a comma, and this will apply the two DNS IP addresses at once. So if you want to set the two IP addresses, you don't have to run the first command, but the second command. Now, if we do a get net IP configuration command one more time. We're going to see that the DNS server setting has changed to the open DNS IP addresses. If you want to test a configuration, you can run a ping command. And you can also use the NS lookup tool, and that will show you the current DNS address that's being used. You can also open the web browser and go to any website, and that should load correctly. If you want to reset the settings through PowerShell, you can run this command. Just make sure to update Ethernet zero right here in this command with the name of the network adapter on your computer, and then just press enter. Now, if you type the get net IP configuration command one more time and then press enter, we're going to see that the setting has revert back to the dynamic configuration. There are a few reminders. You can specify any DNS server on Windows 11 using command using the legacy control panel, but you won't be able to turn on DNS over HTTPS. You can only do this through the settings app. It is possible to enable the feature through command prompt, but it's not a supported option. Whatever method you use, make sure to use the correct IP address for the DNS server. You won't be able to connect to the internet. It's important to know that you can change the DNS server addresses on Windows 11. However, the best approach is to configure the DACP server, which is usually the router, to deploy these addresses to all the local network computers automatically. You should only proceed with this configuration on a computer when you don't have control over the network or have specific network requirements to use a different DNS address. So I do not recommend to use this configuration on a computer that is joined to a Windows domain or is on a corporate network. Make sure to check with your network administrator for more specific details. But as all there is to it, that's how you change the DNS server IP addresses to other services on Windows 11. Remember to like the video, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet, and I just hope this video was informative for you, and I would like to thank you for viewing.